have to have a full disclosure here because I don't do this operation, okay? And, you know, I, before I even start showing the slides, okay, you're a highly experienced deformity surgeon, okay? And the reason that you put any kind of iliac fixation in is not because of, of fusing across the SI joint, but it's actually to protect L5-S1. And we take them out routinely. That's what all these studies are about. You just take them out, okay? They loosen up, it's okay, as long as you get lumbosacral junction fusion, because that's the highest risk. And that's why it doesn't make any difference. Take them out, okay? It's a temporary measure, okay? It only gives you that fixation across another joint and a leverage arm that prevents a 5-1 f uh, fusion failure. That's the reason. I, I could give my talk, I think, or just quit giving the talk here. Anyway, um, I have to acknowledge Paul Santiago. He helped out with some of these slides and he wasn't able to make it. But what to do with SI joints after long fusion constructs and why bother? Okay, I've already stated why. We only do those procedures just because it helps protect. Okay, Dr. Polly's dreaming again. Okay, I got a clear vision. Okay, we, the rest of us all have a clear vision. Do you want me to take a poll in the room here? Is it how many people really think that SI joint fusion is mandatory? Okay, mandatory. Okay, I know you got large patients in Minnesota, but you know what, that, that's not the only reason why. Okay. SI joint pain after fusion, I mean, what causes it? Pain after fusion's a mess, right? It's a mess, you never know. Okay, you know what we tell patients, and you probably tell them too, you've just had too many operations, right? That's what those patients usually come in. Where does it come from? They got disc problems, implant related, facet joints, pseudarthrosis, there's all kinds of reasons why people have pain after surgery, okay? And it's not necessarily an SI joint. I mean, how many times, how many times has anybody in the room seen an SI joint problem that's really symptomatic and needs a fusion? Raise your hands. There are so many, uh, wait a minute, you don't get to the debate, okay, you can't, okay? It's whoa, my, whoa, whoa, I whoa. have the floor right now, okay? No, okay? <laughs> He's the moderator. Yes, yes. <laughs> point of order. How many, how many people in Send the room? Send me your no cards. Okay? That's my point, okay? SI joints are thought to be related in about 30%. Really? I'm not sure I believe that. It's uncharted territory. Clearly a choice of non-spinal back pain. Now I'm giving Dr. Polly's talk for him, okay, and helping him out. Normally there is very little movement in the SI joint, you know, a couple millimeters, okay, in a highly immobile joint, okay. While surgery may have an impact on the movement, the joint appears that the fusion of the joint has little effect on adjacent joints, okay. Some people think that up to 75% of patients with SI joint degeneration after long segment fusion. Well, but how many of them are symptomatic, okay? They just haven't had enough study to look at these things. How do you diagnose this problem? And giving a prophylactic treatment, okay, for something that has low single digits of incidence? Okay, you don't even know if there's a problem there. The range in the outcomes of SI joint fusion raises concern for the screening tools. Physical exam, is that confirmatory? No. History, no. Does SI joint injection confirm it? I haven't seen any data for that, okay? So there's biomechanical data. I mean, it, it just doesn't prove that bilateral iliac fixation really offers the same stability as the SI joint fusion with respect to range of motion. Most of us place iliac fixation to protect the 5-1. That's what I started this about. I had to just say that, and this, this is why do you really do it? I'm gonna help him out again here, but bilateral iliac screw construct constructs and SI joint constructs offer the same control range of motion the SI joint and taking a, and taking those screws out is not a problem okay final thoughts apples and oranges s2 ai screws are not fusion techniques uh, they don't necessarily solve the problem either but it's really just to protect the 5 1 when you're doing a big operation and we know that they work okay it's a temporary measure it's like a kickstand holding your bicycle up Okay, it's pretty simple. So, Dr. Polly, where's the beef? You don't have any on your plate. <laughs> I don't see, look, look right there, okay? There's no beef there, okay? It's all in front of me, okay? It's called common sense. Where's the beef? 
I will give you that the SI joint fusion uh, may reduce iliac implant failures, would reduce SI joint problems and painful iliac implants, and, and yes, those do occur. Uh, would some hybrids help? They may. Thank you very much.